This video is made available by the Allegheny College Computer Science Department under an Attribution, Non-Commercial, No Derivative Works version 3.0 license. In this video, we're going to add the next three components to our Fridoino. We'll add the two 100 nanofarad capacitors on either side of the FTDI chip, and the 4.7 microfarad capacitor, not much further away. I very carefully bent one leg of each of these capacitors into a Z around the end of my tweezers. This way I could position them very close to the surface of the PCB. Be careful when you do this. The capacitor legs are thin and fragile and you don't want to break them off of the component. As in my previous video, I forgot to trim the legs of my components before soldering. This actually caused problems on this first solder joint as I'm not confident that it was as strong as it could be. Still, remember to touch both the pad and the leg, and heat it. I roughly do a 5 to 7 count. Here you can see that I've trimmed the legs of the second capacitor before soldering them. I make sure that the component is secure. And then, I'm ready to solder it. Heat both the pad and the leg. Bring the solder in. Flow it into the hole. If necessary, wipe excess solder off of your tip using the sponge that comes with your iron. Again, heat the pad and the leg. Bring the solder in and make a good electrical connection between the component and the board. After you're done soldering, trim any excess from the components. Or, if you're like me and you're a monkey, trim the legs you should have trimmed in the first place. When you're done, you'll have two components on the board. Notice how I've tried to keep them as close to the PCB as possible. Now I'll place the 4.7 microfarad capacitor. In my kit, it was actually sized correctly for the PCB. Bend the legs back, and solder. Here I've attempted left-handed soldering, but it turns out that when I do that, all I do is block your view from the camera. I heat the leg and the pad, bring the solder in, and then, thinking better of it, I switch to my right hand, because I'm ambidextrous like that one of my few redeeming qualities. I heat the leg and the pad, bring the solder in, and there we go. All three capacitors are on the board.